Good morning, Springton Lake. Today is Friday, October 30th, 2020. Today is a day number six. At this time, would you please rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Happy Friday, everyone! I hope that you're all doing well today. We've almost made it through another very busy week. I hope that the week was productive and successful. So let's work hard today and let's finish the week on a strong, positive note. The bulk of our map testing is now complete. If you need to make up or missed testing or need to finish a test, stay tuned for additional updates from Mrs. Newsom. Today, we're back to a normal schedule for the day. And again, today is a day number six. Just a reminder, there is no school for students on Monday or Tuesday of next week. Students are off while your teachers are involved in professional development. I hope that the extra catch-up academic workshop time this week was helpful and super productive. If you still have work to complete, you have plenty of time on your days off on Monday and Tuesday. There is absolutely no reason for anyone to have any missing work or assignments come the end of the marking period. You certainly had ample time and opportunity, even if you slipped behind at some point during the marking period. And just like I share at the end of the announcements each day when I say the words, the choice is yours, this also applies to your learning, your grades, and your report card. Our teachers do everything that they can to provide every opportunity for students to master what has been taught and for you to be successful on assignments. In the end, just how much you learn and just how well you do on your report card, it's a choice. I hope that everyone chooses wisely. Remember, the first marking period ends one week from today, next Friday. Red Ribbon Week continues. Thanks to everyone who wore their red on Thursday. I hope that you're all enjoying the comfort of your pajamas today. Don't forget, post your pictures to the Padlet in order to earn spirit points and for a chance to win a gift card. Now, I hope that this week has helped to remind everyone of the importance of making good, healthy decisions and leading a drug-free lifestyle. A special thank you to Mrs. McGow and Mrs. Debesai for their work to organize this week's activities. Now, listen up for today's final Red Ribbon Week announcement. Happy Friday. We shared a meme today. Love that moment when you wake up and realize it's Friday. We also thought that it was very important that we end the week, Red Ribbon Week, with some tips that you can do all year long to stay healthy, to stay drug free, and to make good choices. So here are some tips on how you can protect yourself from making poor life choices or being put in an uncomfortable, risky situation. Educate yourself. Know the harms that vaping, smoking, drugs, and alcohol can have on your physical and mental health. Up to 90% of people with a substance abuse disorder began to use drugs, alcohol, or tobacco before the age of 18. Avoid people who vape, smoke, or use drugs and alcohol. People who do these things may try to influence you to do them too. Talk with your parents and other adults. Positive role models will be there to listen to you and help you through both good times and bad. Participate in activities. Get involved in school, your community, your church, or your home. Physical activities and social interactions will help keep you happy and healthy. Manage your stress. Take a break and do something that you like to do. Go for a walk, exercise, listen to music, meditate, or speak with someone about what is going on. And take care of yourself by eating healthy foods and getting enough sleep every night. Again, these are things that you can do all year long to keep yourself healthy. We really appreciate your participation this week in our Red Ribbon Week activities and encourage you to continue to make good choices as you move forward in life. Have a great weekend. A reminder that the Newspaper Club will be meeting next Thursday, November 5th, from 3 o'clock until 4 o'clock. Check with Mrs. Williams if you have any questions. 
Judging will take place later today in our family pumpkin decorating contest. We'll be sharing the names of the winners in my weekly email to parents and also in our morning announcements on Wednesday of next week. Be sure to check Schoology for a short survey that your school counselors have shared with you. We want some of your feedback about how things are going and about how you're feeling about school. So take a few minutes today to complete the survey and provide your input. Next Thursday and Friday, we're excited to have our first opportunities for you of the school year for you to redeem your Spartan Bucks. The prize table will be available on Thursday and Friday of next week during lunch. And for those students who are fully virtual, I'll share pictures of you with the prize table so that you can place an order for prizes that you'd like. You'll have the opportunity to redeem some, all, or none of your Spartan Bucks. You decide when and how you'd like to spend them. Spartan Bucks are valid all year long. And did you know, as a special bonus, at the beginning of your birthday month, we deposit a few extra Spartan Bucks into your account. I know, we're always looking out for you. Check Live School to see your balance of Spartan Bucks at any time. The login instructions for Live School were mailed home to everyone in September. If you still need assistance or you didn't receive your login information, message me or Dr. Layton on Schoology and we can help you out. So mark your calendar, Spartan. Prize table next Thursday and Friday in the cafeteria. All right, Spartans, let's do this. Let's make Friday fabulous. Let's get ready for a super long weekend. And for those of you doing something fun for Halloween, enjoy yourselves. But remember, stay safe and definitely wear a mask if you decide to go outside for trick-or-treating. We'll see everyone back, either in person or online, on Wednesday. This concludes our announcements for today. I thank you for your attention. And as always, let's make it a great day, or not. The choice is yours. <laughs>